Hey guys, Evelyn here on Ramonica Exclusive and today I'm going to show you guys how I recolor hair in Photoshop. So this is a finished product but I'm going to go ahead and use Boomi's photo over here to show you guys how I did it. So I hope you guys like the video and let's get started. So as you see we have a pale blonde. Um, it's recommended to use images that are blonde or idols that are blonde. Um, you can use darker hair color if you want to have more, um, how do you say, more of a challenge. But I'm just gonna use Boomy hair, and her hair is very wisp, so I'm just gonna try my best to kind of mask out everything that's here. So you can do two different ways: you can use your lasso tool, pen tool, or um, masking tool. So three different ways. I'm gonna use my lasso tool, and I'm just gonna go ahead and just roughly select her hair. And now what I do is I refine the edge by this here. As you see, this is what we have so far. I'm going to make my brush small by just tapping somewhere on the screen and using the brackets to make it small. And I'm just going to go ahead and just go around the lines and hopefully it grasps what I want. And it's basically just the hair in reality. Um, so. It does a good job. I'm grabbing tones, um, so we'll see how it does. And you can always just contrast it to make it sharper or whatever, or feather if you want it softer or smooth. And you can shift the edge outwards or inwards. I'm gonna do it outwards a little bit. Let me hit this side of her face up real quick. I don't want it to be too harsh. And we're gonna click OK. So now we have that here, we're going to go down to our, our adjustments wheel and we're going to do a solid color. And I'm going to do black. And I'm just going to go normal and set that to color because it's going to desaturate her hair to make it more of a, a white color like so. And we can always do clean up after so don't worry if it doesn't look 100% perfect right now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold control and click this so we have the same um, selection. And I'm going to do uh, maybe a gradient. Now we'll choose a color like so and go normal and we're going to set it to color and as you see it's really like bright it's kind of too bright so we want it toned down by lowering the opacity and then we're going to duplicate the gradient layer one more time and we're going to set this color to soft light and it's going to give it more tone and then we can go in for a cleanup so um, basically I like to just clean up one layer, so we'll usually do the black and white layer, and then we'll apply it to all the other ones. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it more gray here, so I'm going to up my opacity to 100% and pull some gray in here, soften it up a bit here, right there, a little bit there, lower my brush, and just kind of do little streaks here because this is where her hair is here. Like so, and then we're gonna use black. So I press X. Okay, we're gonna make black visible, and we're gonna kind of clean up the parts that overlap on certain areas with a fluffy brush, so that it doesn't give it a harsh edge. Like so, we we'll go in here, and clean up this here. Press X to have white come back, and we're gonna paint some more here, there, here, miss some there. And there, and I'm not worrying about the wisps. I'm gonna get all over here because this is her hair that's falling down. And then press X and make my brush small and kind of clean up in between, just to make it look more um, natural, like so. And then we're gonna hold Alt and hover over our layer mask and drag it up. Say yes, reapply, and it's gonna something like this. And again, and like so. And now we have this hair color. Now we want to make it look more, more normal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new layer. Go to my color palette. I'm going to click the 50% gray here. I'm going to fill it in like so. Set this normal to soft light. 
And then what we're doing is we're going to go here to our dodge and burn tool. And we're going to use the burn tool first. And we're going to burn the dark parts of the hair. So we're going to grab our brush. And we're going to want to make it harness zero, size to whatever you see fit. And we're going to burn, not dodge, burn. Um, and make sure the exposure is about, uh, safe around the size. 35 and you can just burn the parts that were meant to be in a moment dodge again. You want to burn the dark parts of the hair so the shadows and highlight dodge the whites to make it look more realistic. So this is what I'm doing right now. I'm give it some more shadows so you can say make it look more realistic. And we zoom out and if I toggle this on and off you can see the difference in the certain parts of the hair as well as the background but that doesn't really matter we can just erase around that or you can just add a layer mask so that it only applies to the hair like so. And I'm gonna pull my exposure up a little bit more and kind of just go around and just do add random strokes to kind of give it more depth. Like so, we're gonna erase right here. So I realize that's not part of our hair. Well, actually, it is. So I'm just gonna add a shadow to it to give it more darker. Like so. Now we're gonna go ahead and. And I wasn't doing anything because so I was on a layer mask all the time. Um, so yeah. Make sure you're on your layer on the actual layer, not the layer mask when you're doing this. So it did some stuff, so it's not like I didn't do anything. But yeah. Then we're gonna flip over to our dodge tool and we're just gonna bring some highlights in the hair. To make it more wider. So parts that you want me want to blend in or hide a little bit you can just lighten them up or darken them and I'll go that on and off you can see the difference already in the hair brings in some highlights and some shadows and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to crop it because I like to crop my images so that they kind of aren't so big and plus I post them on Instagram sometimes um, so I have that here now we're going to do some color adjustments so I'm going to go here in saturation See if, if I want to change the hair color to my liking, we're gonna toggle this, add a layer mask to this as well, so we can change the hair color and see if it a different color suits it better. Mm, saturation, desaturation. So that doesn't really make a difference. So now we're gonna edit the image and we add a gradient map. I'm going to do black to white, like so. I'm going to set it to luminosity. And then I'm going to add a curves so I can darken the image a bit. Set the soft light, maybe. Or the opacity. I'm going to do a selective color. I'm gonna kinda change the colors in the image a little bit to kinda draw off the the hair color neutral maybe the whites and more yellow tint. And then what we can do is add a gradient map on top, or a gradient, regular gradient, black to white. And go to soft light. 
change this color to black because it's not supposed to be gray. So. And then we can go ahead and go in and fix certain edges too if they're too, um, how do you call them? Noticeable? We can just. Delete them like so. One color. To make it look a little bit more natural, like so. And this is what we have. We're done. I hope you guys like this uh, tutorial. I, it might be long, and I'm sorry if it is, but I hope you guys like it learn something from it if you like these videos give a thumbs up and don't forget to comment like and subscribe and I hope to have more for you soon bye guys